going to look at changing Jamie's product. She's been good enough to um, be our dummy for the day, which isn't the real dummy. She's the person of the day. <laughs> Guinea pig, I guess is a better word. Sorry, Jamie. So I shouldn't have any rings on, except flat, um, flat um, band is the only thing that you can wear. So you would always put gloves on prior to, so do hand hygiene and gloves on prior to changing anybody's product. Make sure you have Perry wash or a cloth. There's Perry, this is in a roll usually, or we'll have Perry cloths, we could use a face cloth, but usually they're folded in four, just like this. And we are going to perform Perry care on Jamie. We will check to make sure our bed locks are on so that we're not rolling all over the place. So we have, I'm going to just take Jamie's product off this way, keep her covered and warm. Usually I keep one leg covered with a sheet so that this is also covered, but for your viewing purposes, we will. So I would typically have this covered like this and I would only have this part exposed here, just like I do Perry care. So, but I will open this for a reason. So we will take off the tabs off of our product. This is a product that is quite large for Jamie. I'm going to tuck the far side in and I'm going to pull the product down that's all dusted up. I'm going to also tuck this far, this close side in. So we are going to look at washing her perineum. Easiest if you can to just lift one leg up. And where's our perineum? We would do peri care. Here's a perineum. And we would do peri care. I prefer to warm this slightly um, in a basin of water, but then you could just spray it on here and we could wash her perineum. Wash it outside and making sure it's wet inside and we do peri care exactly the same way. If there's urine on her legs, then we would use the peri care on her legs and we could spray it directly on her, but we don't want to get her pants wet right now. So you're going to see, this is here. If she has stool, you can just take this and tuck it underneath. But right now, when we're doing our bed bath, if her product is here, we have something to catch all of that when I spray over top her perineum and drench it nicely. So I've tucked this underneath her and I put it like this. As I said, I always roll people towards me so that they don't fall out of bed. We'll get rid of your perineum now. You don't need that anymore. And I will go ready, steady, roll and remove her old product. We'll roll it up and put it at the end of the bed along with mine. And we have a new product according to her size on her chart or according to the care plan. We don't need that perineum either. And you'll take this and just tuck this underneath. You need to have this very low where the product is, otherwise it will not fit through the front of her um, legs. So I always just put this here. You'll see the lines line up. And I will just lift her leg here and tuck this like this. Now I've tucked this underneath so that when I roll Jamie, ready, steady, roll. You will see that all I need to do is take this and it is right here. Can you see that page? Mm -hmm. so there it is right there. Then you'll see the product is right there and this is a little large for Jamie, but we would do up. Oh, is the tab gonna come off? Now, if I got stool on my gloves or anything like that, I would take those off right now before I put the clean, and I'm not touching any more perineums. So then you will see that. And you need to make sure you tuck this in the groin area so it doesn't rub on her. And these are like, remove my gloves. Put that at the end because I'm not touching anything soiled any longer and Jamie is ready to go.
bit, it's a little mess. Yeah. But that's all right, we'll fix it up. I would, this is an inside of my glove, so I could take this because I'm not touching anything. So this is the inside of my glove and the bottom is here. I would dispose of this according to the agency's policy. Typically, you put it in a garbage bag. If we're using a little garbage can in their room, you would tie this up and put it into the main trash. But make sure that, if I'm putting this in here, shouldn't be touching with glasses, putting it in the garbage can, then I would tie it up and I would put a new garbage bag in so whoever comes next is ready for a garbage can full with a bag inside of it. Usually they'll have little bags in the bottom if they don't have them on the cart. Any questions about putting on a product? You'll be trying them out tomorrow and putting them on. Here you are, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you. How tight that it needs to be. Just so that it's not. And if, oh, sorry, if it's a male, then the anatomy should be, as you saw in the videos, pointing downwards. Just making sure that it's not so tight that you have room. But if the penis is pointing up, then they will pee all over the front of their suit, their shirts. Just like any other little baby in a product. So that's it.